Another never built. These two ads look just alike, and they raise the same issue of Florida consumers forced to pay billions for failed energy projects. One defective power plant, another never built. But one ad blames Governor Rick Scott. Rick Scott knew, but he's letting Duke keep collecting billions anyway. While the other ad blames former Governor Charlie Crist. Charlie Crist let it happen when he was governor. So we have conflicting claims over who's responsible for charging consumers for those failed projects. And it all goes back to the controversial advanced recovery fee law passed in 2006. It's completely unfair to consumers in so many ways. State Representative Dwight Dudley has been trying to repeal that 2006 law. It allows energy companies to charge customers in advance to build power plants. And if they later decide to scrap the plans and stop building, the utilities still get to keep our money. There's no good reason it shouldn't be refunded. But the Republican ad pinning this on Charlie Crist is quite misleading. Charlie Crist let it happen when he was governor. It is your victory. Chris was not even governor when that bill passed. His predecessor, Governor Jeb Bush, signed the advanced recovery fee into law. Chris signed a law helping Duke get billions. So this ad cites an amendment that Chris signed allowing advanced fees for transmission lines. But that does not relate to the failed projects that cost consumers billions. Rick Scott put a stop to the Chris giveaway. Scott did sign a law giving utilities a 10-year time limit to start building their plants in the future, but Duke Energy customers are still paying for power plants that do not make power. Rick Scott knew, but he's letting Duke keep collecting billions. Rick Scott knew, but once again, that law passed five years before he came into office. It preceded both Scott and Christ. And again, Representative Dudley has tried for years to repeal the law, but his efforts have stalled in the legislature. Craig Patrick, Fox 13 News.